How's it going, guys? Nope. Nope. Scratch it. Cut it. All right, so you guys are here to learn another transition, which I'm calling like the time warpy type of transition. You'll see, it's kind of like through space. It's in After Effects, and it's definitely, I would call it a beginner tutorial. Um, with that said, this is what you're learning. And let's get into it. All right, guys, so you have opened up After Effects here, and you are gonna take the two clips that you want, so you can import them, and what you're gonna do is just take one of them and drag them down onto this little film icon right here, and it's gonna create a new composition, which is then gonna bring up this. Once you have that, take your second clip, drag it into the timeline, you're good to go. Make sure the second clip is overlaid with the first clip, only a few frames, it doesn't have to be very many, 20 to 30. And let's get started. So the first clip here, we're gonna come over to effects and presets and we're gonna search for transform here. We're gonna come and drag that onto the clip here. And I would suggest from the middle of the overlay to about a second before or so, it doesn't have to be exact. We're gonna animate scale. So we're gonna set the base to 100 here. And then we're gonna come forward to about the middle or a little bit after doesn't really matter too much and I'm gonna scale it to about 120 or so and so we can see the effects I'm gonna actually turn off the second clip just so we can see what's going on with our first clip all right so we've just animated transform next we're gonna come over and we're gonna search CC flow motion which is gonna be under distort we're gonna put that on and how this works out here is you're gonna have two knots what they call it and you're gonna have the positions of the knots, not one, not two, and your video is going to distort based around those points. So what we're gonna do actually is come down to first clip, hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes of transform so we can see where we want our transform to start and where we want our flow of motion to start. We are going to first click on CC flow motion, move not one position to the position that you want to be distorted. So for me, I want it to be in the middle. So I'm gonna move that position in the middle. Then we're gonna animate the amount of not one. Set it at zero here. Go down to our keyframe with transform over here. And I'm gonna bump this up to about seven or so. And it doesn't look like much, but we'll make it bold or so to say, we'll, we'll increase the value here in a little bit but we have just animated CC flow motion here. Next, what we're gonna do is come over and search for twirl, which is also gonna be under distort, and we're going to apply that to our clip. Now, come back, make sure you're on that first starting keyframe, and we're gonna animate angle and twirl radius here. So, the radius, I'm gonna actually bump that up. Well, I'm gonna start it at zero, and I'm gonna bump this at zero come back to this final keyframe and then we're gonna actually bump this up to about, I think I'm gonna say 55 degrees and twirl radius, I think I'm gonna do 40. Twirl radius, all it does is, as you guys can see, if you wanna only twirl a little bit of the clip or you wanna twirl all of it, it's kinda of based on you, how much rotation you guys want. All right, so we got twirl down. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna search for fast and we're gonna put CC radial fast blur on this. Come back to this first starting keyframe and we're gonna animate the amount. So I'm gonna start off at zero and I'm gonna come back to these ending keyframes and I'm going to put on about eh, 45 seems good to me. It's not too blurry, but it sells the effect, which is what we want. Come back over to effects and presets and the last thing we are looking for is light and burst right here. We're gonna apply that to our clip. Come back over here and this kind of gives almost like that Star Wars hyper speed effect here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate the intensity and the ray length of this. And so we're first gonna start at zero and ray length at zero. And then by the end, we are going to make the intensity and the ray length. I'm gonna bump up the intensity to probably, probably right around 600. 
And again, this is all preference and preferred on your guys' videos, so don't think that you have to follow these exact values. Do what you think best fits your video. That's the fun part about video editing is nothing's ever the right way. It's what you like, which is awesome. All right, so we got all of these. Let's hide all our keyframes, come down here and hit U to see all the keyframes. We're gonna select all of them and we're gonna hit Shift F9 to easy ease them in. And if you don't know what that is, go check out my other tutorial on keyframes and I explain everything about them. All right, so first clip is good to go. So now what we're gonna do is let's make a second clip visible by hitting this I button. We're gonna come to the beginning of the second clip and we're pretty much doing everything that we just did. Make sure you have the second clip selected, except backwards now. So let's search for transform, put it in, and now we wanna start the scale at 120 and we wanna come about a second out or so and let's animate it back to 100. And then I'm gonna come down a second clip, hit U so I can see my keyframe positions. Come back over and let's search for CC Flow. And CC Flow Motion. We are going to move not one position in the center. Come back over, we'll come back over here. We are going to animate the amount. Come back to the starting point and we are going to animate the amount to about seven again. All right, good to go. We're good with those two. Let's come back over and find ourselves twirl here. And if you guys know how to follow this, skip ahead of the tutorial. This is just repeating steps, so feel free to do what you like. We're going to animate the angle and all that. And I'm gonna put the angle to about 55 and 40 here. Come back to right here and we are gonna go zero and zero. Twirl is good to go. Come back over here and search for a fast radial blur. Pop that on. We're gonna animate the amount, set it at zero at the end, and come back to the beginning of the video where we want it to be about the same. And if you noticed, as I'm doing this, that I'm matching what was the same on the first clip that it ended on. So whatever the first clip ends on, I'm using those values to start my second clip on. And it's just gonna make it flow a little bit better, make it a little bit smoother so it's not so obvious that you're switching clips here. Last, we're looking for light burst. Drag that on. And I'm gonna put this about 600 ray length. I think 50 is good. And we're gonna come back to here. Oh, make sure I come back over here and animate this. It's always important. Come back and let's make it zero and zero. All right, good deal. So if we come here and we hit U again, we have all our keyframes. Let's select all of them. And this time we're gonna hit Control Shift F9 and that's Easy Ease Out this time instead of Easy Ease In. All right, so guys, that is pretty much the effects on our transition here and it's going to blend relatively well, but there's still kind of a little bit of a jump based off of our two clips. So let's easily fix that by coming over here, right clicking, let's go new adjustment layer, trim this down so it only goes a little bit outside of each, about 30 or 40 frames, nothing too crazy. And we're gonna come up here and we are gonna search for light rays, CC light rays, and we're gonna apply that to our adjustment layer here. Now what we're gonna do is come to the beginning of the adjustment layer. We're gonna animate the intensity, radius, and warp softness. We're gonna put them down to zero, zero, and zero. Come back to the end of the adjustment layer, and we're going to also, well, no, let's go to the middle, sorry. Go to the middle, and let's move the, just like the knot, and the light burst, move the position where you want it to distort. So that might be up here for you, which is totally okay. For me, it's gonna be in the center. So we're gonna move that to the center. And in the middle, we're gonna bump up the intensity, bump up the radius, and bump up the warp softness. Now, with this, once again, it's all about preference here. And I think when I did it last time, I liked it right around 500. The radius, 
think I liked it right around 200 and the warp softness right around, I think 70. Then what we're gonna do is come to the end of the adjustment layer here and we are gonna make them all zero again. Bam, bam, bam. And we're gonna hit U on our keyframe and we're gonna first come here and we're gonna go Shift F9 and we're gonna come here and we're gonna go Control Shift F9 to easy ease out. And with that said, that is your warp transition, guys. I hope you guys liked that tutorial. If you did, please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys want me to teach you. I'm open to ideas and stay tuned for some pretty big projects I have going, such as some short film edits, some travel videos, and of course, some more tutorials. With that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,